Hello everyone, uh, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes Report. And uh, the first thing I want to cover is actually in the northern part of ADFK. So, uh, in case you are lost, this is Donetsk City uh, and uh, Donetsk uh, and ADFK City is north of Donetsk City. And uh, there is some Frontline Changes. Uh, this is actually uh, Frontline Changes from the Ukrainian side. Uh, the Deep State UA pro-Ukrainian uh, mapper or mapping or OSIN or open source intelligence have uh, updated their mapping to show you uh, the Russians advancing further around the northern part of Adyevka. The Ukrainian lines continue to be broken over in this region here. Uh, so let's cover the easy part first. Uh, the Russian forces uh, easily uh, taken the rest of this area here along the coast of this uh, lake and uh, this is pretty much obvious that this is going to happen because the Ukrainian forces have already redrawn away from this region here and uh, so as a result uh, the securing of this uh, coastal area of the northern part of this lake is uh, pretty much a given thing so uh, so this this covered but the, the Russians also have made progress over in this area here uh, in the northern suburb region and uh, particularly the, there's a lot of uh, focus on this area here where the railway line is so we're going to zoom in a bit more so we can see in detail so so the according to the ukrainian mapping uh, the russian forces have already captured this area here and uh, taken part of this railway line region uh, along the donetsk street and uh, so the however the gray zone is um, is a lot bigger so the gray zone uh, according to the ukrainians actually goes beyond this area here and there's a lot of reports about fighting along uh, around this bridge at the railway uh, railway uh, line so if i zoom in a bit more you can see there's this bridge area here and uh, there's a lot of claims of fighting in this area and it's uh pretty clear that there is definitely fighting in this area because the ukrainian mapping already mapped that the russians have taken most of this uh, eastern part of this bridge so uh, for the russians to be pushing out from this area here and particularly trying to capture the bridge is pretty much obvious that is uh, currently happening so uh, this is very very bad uh, because the which means that the front line uh, all the way to this uh, to to the uh, to the all the way to the end of this uh, settlement is just less than a kilometer we are talking about 700 to 800 meters and uh this will basically cut off let's so let's say i put it again uh, so this area here is around almost 800 meters and if the russians able to uh go and conquer this entire area the entire ukrainian forces within the entire uh region here this entire ukrainian force in ADFK is going to be trapped uh it's going to be operationally encircled because uh then the you only way out is through the small roads going going along these three lines and uh, this is going to be so difficult for the ukrainians to redraw and uh so this is very bad because there's only one road this this 00542 road uh this is the only road along lashtokine is the only proper road out of ADFK, and the russians are now closing this gap the window is closing for redrawal again this is very similar to the battle of bakhmut that i've mentioned i also mentioned about the window is closing and this time around the adfk want close way faster than the bakhmut uh, battle of bakhmut uh things is un uh is really you no know, unfolding in a very uh poor way for the ukrainians so and uh this front line not holding up you no know, is still expanding is terrible if i really put in the gray zone you look ridiculous you look like the russians are capturing a lot of grounds so i'm not going to put that uh because it will just be quite misleading because gray zones ultimately is gray zones so uh over at this uh more the eastern part of this uh breakthrough in this area here the russians have extended their control uh over this part and then they have also captured more grounds along the dacha uh expanding their uh, front line along this uh, suburb so these dachas are the these are holiday houses and um they are moving in they are basically capturing most of these dacha regions and they are entering into the the lines where the ukrainians are holding along the the suburbs so this suburb region the ukrainians are holding the line and they are actually also uh, actively trying to push back 
Uh, however, it looks like the Russians are still in the initiative. So uh, that the situation is very, very bad uh, in terms of this uh, frontline change in this area here. So uh, we move on to the ne ma next major frontline change. And this is also just as important and a major as the, Adi the battle of Adiafka is the battle of Novo Mihailivka. We can now uh, confirm uh, that the battle of Novo Mihailivka has begun. The Russian forces uh, yesterday have claimed that they have entered the suburb and are uh, Today, uh, we can have confirmation because the Ukrainian mapping, uh, Deep State UA has confirmed that the Russian forces have taken ground. Let me zoom out a bit because this is a bit too much in. Okay, let me, is okay, like this is a bit better. So the Russian forces have, con uh, the Ukrainian mapping has confirmed that Russian forces have basically penetrated from the southeast and uh, taken the first buildings within Novo Mihailivka. So this is the part where they claim that the Russians have uh, taken and they are moving in this direction. However, um, if you look at the Russian mapping, they, their claims is a bit different. They claim that the Russians are entering from the east and the front line is something like this. And uh, it's basically a much bigger uh, frontal of offensive into the eastern part of Novo Mihailivka. So while the Ukrainians claim that the Russians are attacking from the southeast. So this is a slight differing in terms of the information, but both information has confirmed from the Russian and the Ukrainian side has confirmed that the battle of Novo, uh, Novo Mihailivka has begun. The battle is now inside of Novo Mihailivka. And uh, if you believe in the Russians uh, claims, then the Russians have basically captured uh, most of the eastern part of uh, Novo Mihailivka now, and they are slowly uh, and they are now progressing into the central part of Novo Mihailivka. So this is the most significant uh, development right now. And uh, this this is going to be quite bad because uh, like I mentioned, the U the Ukrainians have to hold this uh, this town. Uh, anyway, we shall wait and see because uh, I'm not sure what else to talk about uh, for this. It's, we, still, we just still need to wait for more information to develop and see how this goes. I'm not sure how serious the Ukrainians are in, in terms of uh, holding this front line at this moment, given uh, how bad the situation over at Adyavka, which is much worse than this, but the situation at Adyavka may may cause uh, morale issues along all the front line and the, the Ukrainian forces, if they hear that Adyavka is falling and falling really fast, they may actually just give up uh, to, 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 to fight on. Uh, in the rest of the front line where they themselves are experiencing the overwhelming firepower on the Russian side and they may just not want to fight. So uh, this moral issue might be a, might be a, uh, something that to, uh, will affect. The other front line change is over at the New York front. So uh, so New York front is, uh, this is the AFK front, uh, this is New York front. But at the New York front, there is some uh, front line change where there is a geolocation of Russian forces, uh, geolocated by Deep State UA. And uh, this actually uh invalidated the ukrainian claims as the russians are now over here and uh the russians also and based on the ukrainian mapping uh they also seems to have captured uh more grounds slightly just slightly more uh, over at pivdefne so uh the russians are making slight advance in this area here and towards new york so this is just another frontline change uh and uh the other one is over at robotini so uh this uh, this is Robotini at the Orkhiv sector of the Zaporizhia front. Uh, so I zoom out a bit. So this is Zaporizhia city and uh, this is the Zaporizhia front over at the Orkhiv sector of the front. Uh, there is slight cap uh, slight advance from the Russians just uh, in the south of Robotini. The Russian forces have taken either part or entire of this ent heavy entrenchment that is current that is over here. So currently I put it into grey. Um, because of this, uh, this change in terms of the front line from the Ukrainian mapping. So we shall continue to monitor. And the last front line change is over at Krinky. So Krinky is at Kherson front, uh, is over here. This is Krinky. Uh, at the Krinky region, uh, the Ukrainian, uh, the Ukrainians have taken some grounds and also lost some grounds. Uh, according to the Ukrainian mapping, uh, which we previously have to, uh, mark out the current mapping. So the Ukrainian mapping was will be the primary mapping currently in this area here. Uh, the the gray zone have increased, it, which means that the Russian forces have been uh, 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 kicked out in this area here. 
and uh, the Ukrainians have taken more grounds. However, the entire of Krinky in Ukrainian mapping is actually all grey zone. So the Ukrainian side cannot confirm that they have firm control over any part of the Krinky because the entire of Krinky is getting bombarded by the Russians. But the Russians are definitely losing some control over on the western part of the village. Uh, this comes because of the Ukrainian reinforcement that has been reported by Russian sources uh, to continue to uh, help out in the defense and uh, of this region here and uh, the russians also have lost uh, this small little area here uh, that was previously marked by the ukrainian mapping as under russian control however the russians have taken the entire of the tree lines the entire forest just south of Krinky. the russians have taken full control of this forest which means that the ukrainians are currently most likely trapped uh, in the inner area here along the Krinka River or Konka River in the north. So this is currently the situation over at uh, Krinky. And uh, this is the frontline changes report. I I hope I did not uh, detract a bit too far because I was trying to explain some of the situation around at this frontline changes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Do look out for the SIP wrap. I'm still waiting for one more report, uh, which is the Ukrainian Defense Ministry's morning report. So... Uh, after the morning report is out, I will be able to do the sit wrap. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next update.